Hello, everybody. This is DJ Kelly D. I just, um, soul man, and I just want to say I was sitting here amusing to myself, you know, with just tears of joy, man, of the support I get in recovery, you know, and doing recovery. I'm in good shape. I had some ice cream on my mouth. Sorry about that. I had me a bowl of chocolate ice cream, see? Anyway, I'm just overcome, man, with feeling because the love and support I get from doing my suicide prevention music videos, you know, uh, I freely promote um, other people's music and inspire others through doing that music. I never started out thinking I could be a singer or try to get a Grammy or anything or Oscar or whatever or uh, being a singer or a musician, but people said they uh, like my music and some uh, kid stopped me at the store today. Ain't the first time this happened. And he was with his mother. And his mother was like she was so excited. A little boy about nine years old with his little sister. Come running up with a book bag. And he was like. I'm sorry. He's like, uh, you're so mad. I said, you asked me. I said, how are you? And he was like, well, you signed my book bag for me. Uh, I love your videos. And his sister, the little girl, was probably a little older than him. He was about nine, and she's probably about 10 years older than the little girl. About probably um, 16 years old. And, and um, she was telling me, she had her hair kind of like dyed purple and green. And sweet little kids. And she was like, you know, you really um, helped encourage me that my life is worth living because I get picked on school. Me and my little brother always get picked on and beat on and stuff. And she was like, I was going to um, have my daddy's pistol was going to shoot myself. and uh, I watched your video and just laughed and laughed and laughed. And I was like, here this man is almost 100 years old. <laughs> he's an old guy. He's overweight. You know, but it doesn't drive because it doesn't work. Never was talking to be a man, but he's sitting here. Telling me to live, you know, and he don't have a, hasn't had love in his life for a long time. Very, very smart kids, you know, and very watchful. It's like, though this man's lonely, you know, he's, he's a sad person. He, I can tell that you, you know, and she said, um, if I was a grown woman, you would definitely be, uh, boyfriend material. And the little kid, 15 years old, tell me this is, she was like, you were so inspiring to me, you know, you inspired me and my little brother, we love your videos, you're funny, you're like Big Bird and <laughs> Barney and all these, but Mr. Rogers combined, I'm like, well, thank you so much, you know, I'm glad you watched my videos, and I'm glad I was able to help and encourage you, you know, and it's just, it touches my heart, man, I'm sorry I'm a cryer, I'm just you know, very emotional, because, see, I found out recently, what having a heart is and what love is and having a love in my heart, man, is the awesome mistake in the world to love people. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't have any enemies. If you're my enemy or a hater or whatever, that's your loss, really. It ain't mine. It's your problem. But I love people so much. I always root to see the good in for someone, even if they're considered bad. It's just people say that's a weakness. No. My strength is, and that's why people disabled, I think, disabled to sing real beautiful love songs and music that's about love. I've lost in love, but the lonely people that know what love is, you know? And I want to just say um, that that really touched me today when I was a little kid. And my mom was like, how much did you pay them kids to do that, Kelly? You're just wrong. You know, I know you like to be in... And... The lady whose kid was behind the line on the other side, she said, I didn't know she was over there. She was like, my children didn't pay the, um, your, your son anything. He, he does. She said, Is he, do you watch your son's videos? And my mom said, no, I don't look at that because it's I embarrassing. And the, and the lady was like, ma'am, I'm going to be really proud of your son because your son really helps a lot of people. And my mom was standing there just like, wow. <laughs> How many of you look at me like, did you pay this lady? The lady was telling my mother, um, 
you know, it's, it's real. She's like, you know, why she saw this video sometimes? So my mom came home and she watched this video where I got emotional while I was singing someone a song about being in love with that person and losing that person and the person not feeling the same way. She knows who she is. Actually, it is over where my mom stays. And um, well, I don't mind showing my heart that I'm a big teddy bear. You know, I'm not a monster. I used to wear a mask that I was crazy, insane, and demonic and satanic and all these bad things to keep people from, it's a self-defense measure not to get hurt by anyone or get my heart broken or get bullied. So, you know, going around threatening police and stuff like that, doing real crazy off the wall stuff, threatening to kill people, <laughs> well, and things. But now, it's about recovering sobriety. That's my life. And they were talking to the class this morning about, you know, um, I ain't got to prove nothing to nobody. I don't. But being a leader and not a follower, you know, I have to tell my story to people to tell them why I do what I do. You know, and inspire other people. I'm not saying that I'm, I am God's gift to rock and roll and I'm the next coming of Beatlemania or anything like that, you know, or uh, Prince or I'm the next Michael Jackson or whatever. I'm not that person. I'm not no celebrity status person, but if I can help, hey, baby, if I, I mean, I love a cat, man. Believe me, I got a cat as a pet. Who would have thought that, like, last year this time? You know, that. Kelly D's got a cat? Kelly D's all that like, hard up and thugged out, man. He ain't gonna have no cat, no pussy cat, feline. That's a, I found out that no cat wants love. Too. Something like that can love me unconditionally, man. It touches my heart. When I first got this cat, I wanted to get I'm like, you know, why you have pancakes? You, you, you need to lose weight, cat. I'm looking at myself, of course. Man. What are you being hateful? Just yell at it, you know? And the cat come up to me when I was really, really mad. We really, you don't want to yell at about his, 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 his litter box being like pancakes in there. Ain't that right, buddy? That cat come up to me. Meow. We hear that, man. That touches my heart. Meow. I mean, that loves me, man. It is great to feel like you're loved by somebody or something, you know? How can I yell and be mean to something that loves me, man? I mean, and then these kids tell me, you know, I'm a great person to them and inspire them, their hero. I mean, wow, man, that's a great feeling. And I ain't tears of sorrow. It's just, hey, buddy, look at this, man. This is, that's love, y'all. Look at that. Meow. I mean, that makes me cry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just being Teddy Bear, but. Something to love you like that depend on you and what you were around, man. For so many years, nobody wanted me around. I can't blame them, really, the way I was. and carried myself a different fake mask that I wore, and, you know, self-defense. But going around the city, and I give my props to my peer support specialist and the other citizens there, really opened me my eyes and my heart, man. Milton, the cold person. I was a very... Arrogant, self-centered jerk that was lost in the um, annals of chaos and insanity and uh, addiction as well as uh, mental illness, relapses, and um, very homophobic, very much a um, lovable way to respect women, didn't know God. <laughs> Always lied, said I did, I didn't know nothing about God. I always took everything not seriously. But I had people that set me in a little group at Wilderness City that told me it's okay to be who you are. You know, you like music, you like Barry Matter, <laughs> Bread, um, you like sentimental music, love songs, the BGs, and um, love over letting the weight, the spinners love songs, and I like love songs, you know, basically, I like to listen to Delilah late at night, because I was lonely, say, oh God, I wish I had the song of a lady to care about me, you know, I used to hate on everybody, point fingers at people, pay blame, oh, I was bullied, poor, poor, miserable me, it's everybody's fault but mine, you know, or choice, and then you say no fault is all, but it's bad choices, you know, support system and what the situation it is just what it is what it is you know but it made me strong later in life you know and, um, I'm just grateful man I'm grateful I love my mother 
I just sometimes wish I could go back and tell my mom and dad when he was alive. I told him before he died, we made peace. But I can go back and say, you know, you did the best you could do. Thank you. And I'd be happy. Even when I was married, you know, not being the person that I was. And the inside looking out in the glass at somebody that's really, really messed up. <laughs> you know, I've done things. I had to pay for the people and things, animals and whatnot. I was a very self-abusive, self-mutilating hater. Be truthful. Jealous, envious, um, victim, victim, poor, poor me. Poor, poor, pitiful me. You know? Excuse me, I was on uh, there. Do I hear him blow my nose and wipe my face? But um, it just really touches me. It makes me emotional. That I'm so grateful to be happy. I'm, I love my life. I love this world. I love my, my town, Durham. Durham's a beautiful place, man. Beautiful people. It's just everything and everyone needs a chance. A chance to, to blossom or develop and grow and nurture, you know, to... All that you can be, giving God the grace of God. You know, everybody has a higher power, whether it's a, a coffee cup or a cat or a flower or a peace symbol or God or Allah or whatever, Buddha. You need some kind of sacra, sacrament, some kind of faith, higher power to believe in. Mine personally is Jesus Christ and God Almighty, and I'll follow comedic beliefs as well. But I'm going to say, if it wasn't for God above, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably be lost worse than just being lost. I'd be in somewhere in the deepest trenches of hell, you know? But I want to say that it touches me, man. When I inspire somebody, it helps strengthen me. It makes me stronger for the next storm to come along and weather that storm and be proud in the moment. I'm fighting a terrible storm right now that's so painful, so horrible. But the truth of the matter, to the heart of the matter is, that storm may go last and it ain't going to destroy me. I'm going to survive this. I'm a survivor. I have came a long way. They even told me today, they gave me my props at Wilder City. And I'm an humble person. I've learned to be humble and have, and have humility in my life, except I, have, I am flawed. I am mentally ill or whatever they say. I have issues, but I love me, and I'm happy with me, and I'm glad that the person I've become. They told me today, when um, actually two of the um, two of the um, peer support specialists told me, Percy and Eddie, um, Kelly, you've come a long way in just two years of coming to wellness, man. You ain't nothing like you used to be when you come through them doors. I said, I know every one of you wanted to hit me. You could open me alive, open me up alive and just destroy me. Because, they, you know, I was, <laughs> y'all could have just had me. But y'all you know, let me talk myself till I'm blue in the face and realize finally that what I had to say wasn't, didn't matter. I just needed someone to listen to me. And once I got somebody to listen to me, I shut up. I started being quiet and, you know, holding water and, different things, and I'm grateful, man, I'm so grateful, I get to live again, you know, and I'm, I'm glad I'm not, I don't show physically, you know, through, through addiction or mental illness, it makes me, you know, except for the being overweight, but that's the medication too, mostly, and the sleep app, and I can hear the, the band playing for Central, no kind of sense sounds wonderful to drunk. Dum to dum to dum. If I was there, man, I'd be like, let's dance, do 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 do. Let's dance to the drummer's beat. Let's. I mean, I'd be doing the, I'd be doing the, yeah, the wave and everything. If I was a central man, no kind of central with the band playing, I would be sitting there. Let's dance to the drummer's beat. I'd be up there dancing, man, like the mascot. But I just want to tell you all, man, how wonderful recovery is a bride in. Also, I want to thank um. Say happy birthday to this guy, Andrew Hager. I remember I had the pleasure of talking with him or watching his videos, but I have able to watch Nicole DeMaio out of Oklahoma, um, who is uh, Andrew. Um, if it wasn't for him, uh, I guess she was saying 
she, you know, it, it could be herself and me following her. She has some good things to say on her channel, and I just want to, um, <clears throat> I just want to talk about, give her her props, and Andrew, happy birthday, man. Love you guys and everybody out there who's been suffering in addiction. But you don't have to suffer. It can be fun. It can be fun, ain't it, buddy? <laughs> Y'all see how that cat look to me, look. Yeah, he's a baby. I mean, for real, man. It can be fun. I can be hot, man. I'm high as hell. But how for life, see? And how, hold on a second. And how off a of life and not high from drugs or insanity you know one of the <laughs> people say that guy is crazy he's high it is what it is but I'm not crazy and I'm not high for any substance I'm high from life and being enjoying my life I can lay here in my birthday suit I ain't got to show nobody too, yeah, buy too much information but I, I can do what I want to do in my house and <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. I'm happy. Got my window open right here. So I can feel the breeze blow in from the beach. It's been a big, heavy rainstorm. So it smells like fish worms in the river bank. So, and the tears is cold, man. Because I love, when I hear a wonderful recovery story or someone finding some kind of personal salvation or redemption or rebirth. It's like that song, The Rose by Bette Midler. You know, in the springtime, the rose will die in wither. But the roots are being maintained in the ground. But in the spring, that seed becomes a rose and it, it, it's beautiful. So, yeah. Yeah, it is. And I talked to her, you know what, dude? Fellas. Women, you say like, you you don't want to be lonely or whatever. I still don't have anybody. I've been a forty year old, forty nine year old virgin for the last eight years, maybe nine years. <laughs> but it's all good. <laughs> I found out that sex ain't everything, and ain't everything trying to bust up and then trophy somebody. No, 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 no. But I will say this, men. It doesn't make you. Bad or not a man to cry and be sensitive and show compassion because women like that. Believe it. If you're not loud and boisterous and you you talk like this and you say, "Hey, man, I'm about to recover." This is in the words of a famous friend of mine. He's not famous, but he's famous to me. He's a he, he's a superhero, J. Jonah Sharkey, or Jonah Sharkey on the Chapel Hill. He's one of my peer support special. He's he, his his famous words the way he says it. And he said he was a lot like I was when I, um, he started that recovery. And he says it like this this word right here. Kelly, it's good to be in recovery, man. It's just so rewarding to be the man that you want to be and that you are. And once you, and then as Ricky told me too, my best friend Richard, Richard Ward Franklin, and that's my best buddy. Ricky Franklin Ward, Ricky, ah, Richard Franklin Ward told me, he said, Ricky, you don't give me a man about your name, bro, Ricky told me, that's my best buddy, Ricky, Ricky told me from around the city, he said, he said, Kelly, man, and he talks in a little voice too, Kelly, if you let people see the real you, and not the mask that you wear, the real person you are that I got to know, People will like you, man, and love you to death. I'm like, wow, really? It doesn't make me less of a no. It don't make you less of a man to be humble, quiet, respectful. Not necessarily godly, but, you know, humble as God would have to be. And soft-spoken. People will love you, man, like you. And once I started talking low, the other day we meditated. And uh, I'm going to do that one video. Let's do some meditation videos. And what we did, we waved our hands around. Like, you know, just make them get limber. You know, our hands and wave them high. Well, I did like a, like a bird, like I was flying. My hands. And then, breathe in. Stretch my hand. Hold my hand out like this above my right hand. Then blow out. Stop and blow out. Then breathe in, put my hand on my hip, face down, 
blow out. Then breathe in. And my hand based out on my chest or my heart. And breathe out. Eyes open, of course. Then breathe. Take my hand. Actually, it's the other way around. Put my hand on my abdomen, face down. Breathe out. Stop and breathe out. Then breathe in. Put my head out again. Above my head, stretched out. Stop and blow out. Breathe in. And rest my head on my side. Stop and blow out. And then after about five or ten minutes, we talk about how we feel. Me, I'm floating. I'm like, this is the way it felt to me. It's like I was trying to float in a swimming pool, trying to stay afloat with my eyes closed. But once I relaxed myself, I could just float on top of the water. No problem blowing on my back, blowing out the way I usually do when I swim anyway. Blowing with my face just barely above water. And just floating. And I learned that when I like to relax my body swimming on my back, I float. I don't, it's like when you get excited and try hard, <laughs> you still drown. But you relax your body on the water, man, that's an awesome. And I almost fell asleep several times in the swimming pool and got lost. <laughs> People say, hey, look at that man, little kids. Bobby, look at that man. He is floating on top of the water. And look how big he is. <laughs> That's because I relaxed myself. It was so wonderful. When I got in the pool, man, I'm like, da da, da da, da da. <laughs> like I'm high as a cot, you know? Meow. Look at that right there, y'all. Meow. Thomas. Come, Thomas. Thomas, Tom, Tom, Big Papa. Yeah, I've come a long way in this one. It really is. And this morning, I, am, I don't want to cry again. Then little kids that tell me I inspired that little girl told me her life almost ended. And I helped to stop that man. That's, oh, that's awesome. I rock. Thank you, God, for helping me to take my recovery sobriety seriously. And like, that's true, Nicole. Who says, and Andrew Hager, who says, you can't have fun. Woo! Like Rick Flair says, woo! I hope my neighbor don't get mad. Hey, bro, if you're out there, don't get mad with me, but I love it. I love it. It's great. <laughs> In the words of the famous serial icon, Tony the Tiger, it's great. <laughs> and the laughing, they not be fake or phony. Not to be quote unquote plastic. <laughs> to be natural and sincere is the most wonderful feeling. And how can you love somebody else if you don't love yourself? It all starts with self. And thank you, Miss Vicky Copeland, for coming up with the Wellness Recovery Action Program, the RAP program. Whoever came up with IMR and the web. The web classes and all. Thank you so much. Recovery rocks. The sobriety rocks. It rocks. <laughs> yeah. And um, but I'm so happy, man. The, this this life is good. The world is good. I hope I'm able to inspire and encourage someone tonight. Happy birthday to me. It's not my birthday, but I might as well be, you know, my birthday. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> I have too much of myself. <laughs> too much of myself. I sit here, man, instead of eating candy and dangers, I eat limes. <laughs> I think God don't smoke. If I smoke cigarettes, man, I'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> and I get these lines, I cut them with a knife, you know, cut them around the, the side and peel them. Then I take, I peel the, the skins off. Then I peel the white meat off. Like, you <laughs> hear you say, somebody all the time, I hit you, man, to the white meat come out of your head. 
best to wake me from the lives and the liberties. Oh, God, we're going to sleep again tonight. <laughs> it's so fun. It's, why not be half fun to recover with somebody? Why not? In the words of Jack Nicholson, why not, my friend? Why not have fun? It's a wonderful thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> Is you can even say, <laughs> or Jack Nicholson, you know, or, but I want to say, I'm clean and sober, and I'm recovering. It's a wonderful thing, y'all. It really is. I mean, they have a cat beside me for God's sake, sitting there. Look at him, biting for fleas, licking his fur, making hair balls. Hey, kitty, kitty, bro, meow, meow. Look at that. <laughs> Tom, Tom, woo, kitty, kitty. That's my boo kitty, y'all. Boo kitty. <laughs> big old bad, big bad. Okay, Van Halen had a song, you rockers out there. Big bad, we have been sweet. <laughs> well, big bad, build is sweet, we have now. <laughs> That's funny to me, man. Big bad, build is sweet, we have now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a gigolo everywhere I go. What to say? There will come a day when youth will, fall, will, will pass away. Blah, 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 blah. What will they say about me when the end comes? I know I was a, I was just a culture gigolo. Life goes on without me, cause I ain't got nobody. <laughs> oh God, make myself cry again. Wow. Woo, life is good. Recovery is awesome. It rocks. <laughs> and sobriety is awesome. Thank God above for that. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Shalom, shalom. <laughs> and I want to say, one day I will, I will have the face looks like it's about. <laughs> the pills Murray. What's that guy's name? Stay Puff Marshmallow Man and Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters! I don't like Ghostbusters no more. Thank God. I ain't afraid of ghosts. <laughs> Who that? Who that? Ain't gotta do that no more, man. Thank God. I'm trying to hold my all my hands and knees looking for a rock on the, on the that's way back there in four eight nineteen eighty nine. But still looking on, on the floor for all my hands and knees for a rock. Can it be a a rice crispy or <laughs> a piece of sand? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank God I ain't gonna do that. This camera makes me look fat. Dang. Am I really that big? I feel bloated, man. Let's see. Damn. I know I'm buff, but good God. Oh my God! Fat bastards got boobies. Woo! I hope not, man. Jesus, I had to lose weight. I had to be. Oh God. But I get no ideas about that, too. I got breasts. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm sorry. That was that was that was a call. But now anyway, say hey, uh -huh. LOL, so much hate. Laugh out loud. <laughs> anyway, y'all keep rocking, keep living, enjoy your life, love each other. Know that recovery is a real thing. Middle middle illness is a real thing. Every facet of living is real. Keep it real, keep it a hundred, but have fun with it. And get the support you need if you can't get it somewhere. People in places sometimes you have to let go of. Only unless you're strong enough to go back to those places and people. And then we can inspire them but not me. I mean I have people around me smoking marijuana and drugs and drinking, you know, but you know I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> no. Or cigarette, for that matter. But let me tell you this. Life is good. Enjoy it. Love each other. God bless y'all. Thank you.